So apparently now after a month and a half of vlogging and being perfectly fine, I'm not able to video myself doing coronavirus stuff anymore. You'll never shut the vlog down. It's not gonna happen. You can try all you want. It's not gonna happen. I just got out of bed and got dressed. It's 1.45. Couldn't fall asleep till like five o'clock last night because I was just so amped up and wired from the game. Ah oh, man, gobbled up like 21,000 Twitter followers in the last two days. Just, I'm still so happy with how everything went last night. It was like a Thanos moment. I felt like I had all the Infinity Stones and everything just went perfectly. I mean, we had the Free Joe Kelly cleats. MLB predictably did exactly what I wanted them to do, which is of course just ban me from wearing them because that just throws more gasoline on the fire. And then we went complete game shutout, which wouldn't have been possible unless it was a double header. So that was sweet. And then had the send it shirt perfectly executed after the game. Just one of those nights where everything just comes together and it's a beautiful thing. So we're in St. Louis now. I love St. Louis from a stadium standpoint. When they have fans there, it's one of the best baseball crowds. They know the game, they do a great job, they love baseball, so. Big series, four against the Cardinals and four against the Brewers, our next eight games. And that's gonna tell us a lot about what our season's gonna look like, so time to get going. We got cookies, huh? We have oatmeal raisin? Yeah, that one, yeah. So I'll take some broccolini. Yeah, I'll take some that. Mediterranean orzo. Hmm. I will take both chicken and salmon. Can I have two of those? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I can't video myself spitting in a tube. You can't video any of this. Since when? Ever. It's What's fine. this guy's deal? I don't know, son. It's okay. How come that wasn't communicated to the players in the past month and a half? Alive, but no, no video, no pictures. So apparently now after a month and a half of vlogging and being perfectly fine, <laughs> I'm not able to video myself doing coronavirus stuff anymore. Wonder why that happened. Scott, MLB, you'll never shut the vlog down. It's not gonna happen. You can try all you want. Not gonna happen. Hello. That's a lot of banners. Tough night. Reds were up 4-2. 4-2 in the ninth. Ended up giving up five runs, three runs to make it 5-4. Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. It sucks. Really deflating when stuff like that happens. Good morning, friendly viewers of the vlog. I am off to sign some papers. The notary is here. Time to close on a property. And then I want to go back to sleep, but I can't. They've tried to make this as simple as possible. So, you're going to rent this property out when you're not there, right? It's a, um, it's a storage, it's storage units. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, there you so. go. Good for you. It's 11 o'clock and got done in plenty of time to come do my front office sports interview. So I got to stage the room a little bit just so I have decent lighting and stuff so I look good. And uh, finish off all my morning measurements and then get to it.
through obviously a couple of crazy, <laughs> crazy weeks for you, huh? Yeah, uh, between the COVID stuff and then all the other stuff I have going on. Finally that time of day where I get to eat. So I'm off to get some food. Hopefully it's as good as it was yesterday. Yesterday was delicious. I'm going. Can I eat an omelet with, let's see. Can I do four eggs now? Some ham and bacon, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, and some salmon. <laughs> Reds really need a win today. We really, really, really need a win today. So I'm off to the field now to pray to the wind gods and ask them to grant us a win today. I'm gonna... Did you do your home screen this morning? I did my home screen. No symptoms, haven't been around anyone with symptoms. No reason to suspect that I might have symptoms or have been exposed to anyone with symptoms. So in other words, you have no clue to get it. Right. Yeah. Sir. Right. This skyline has to be one of the best in baseball. Got the arch in the background, it's beautiful. Got uh, Pittsburgh is up there. Atlanta's now up there in my opinion. All right, we're gonna get some weighted balls done and then uh, play some catch. And then, I think BP after that, I don't know. I pitched the same day as Louie, double header. I'm throwing a bullpen tomorrow. I'm throwing a bullpen tomorrow. Which means you're not throwing a bullpen today. Correct. Because you wouldn't throw two bullpens. Correct. On back to back days. Right. Sorry. Correct. Sorry. We're on the same page now. I love it. I'd rather recover for three full days, you know, from start to day one, one to two, two to the time you throw your bullpen on three. Now you're out of the hole, you throw a short bullpen, get something out of it, but you don't dig the hole nearly as deep, and now it's just a little, probably not even a hole, it's probably just a side, sideways move before you recover. Reds win, Reds win, four to two. Big night for the Rojos. Maddie Davidson. Took a hack. Davidson, Diddy. a drive to Diddy. left. Grand Salami! And first swing in like a week and a half or whatever it was, comes in, Grand Slam. Disco battled through, gave us a chance, got out of some big spots. Thorny, Lorenzen came in, shut it down. Amir came down, shut that eighth inning down, and then Iggy had a clean ninth. Bullpen just shoved tonight. Big night for the Reds. And the Reds even up this four game set at a game apiece. Okay, well, I guess it's baseball or NHL tonight. Good morning. I just woke up and I'm jumping right into an interview with CNN. This meeting is being recorded. You were recently told that you'd be punished if you mm. wore cleats that said free Joe Kelly written on it. They basically told me that if I wore the cleats, we'll eject you from the game and then suspend you and then fine you. And at that point, I was like, I can't put my teammates at risk like that. Uniform violation policy is the first time it's supposed to be a warning, second time $500 fine, third time $5,000, and fourth time $10,000. All that money can be paid to charity. It doesn't have to go to the league office. So for me, if I was going to get fined for it, I was like, that's fine. You know, all the proceeds from the day were going to Joe Kelly's charity of choice anyway. So I said, okay, I'll just add the fine on to that charity. They didn't like the fact that I looked at it as a, a cheap price for some advertising. So then they threatened to, to suspend me based on the words free Joe Kelly being offensive. How do you think the commissioner handled the Astros situation? I think it was a tough situation. I'm certainly like, I, I wasn't involved in all the decisions as they were happening. So it's very hard for me to sit here and say, oh, well, he should have done this or they should have done that or whatever. One, I don't have all the information. And two, I didn't have all the considerations that the commissioner had in, in going through it and, and all the information. But I do think that you know, coming out and, and saying that, you know, the trophy was, was a piece of metal. I think that angered a lot of people. The players not being punished angered a lot of people. But I don't think that that could have changed because the union would never have let that happen. So 
it's hard for me to criticize the league's office for for doing that when the union, the, the players' association, did exactly what what they're there to do, which is protect the players. I personally do think that they could have been stripped of of the title, uh, at least in the record books. But I understand, you know, in, in talking with Rob in the league's office, it's like, well, we thought that that would be a bigger PR gaffe, especially staring down the fact that you know the Red Sox potentially cheated in in 2018, and we hadn't had the results of that investigation back. So they're saying, well, we could have lost the 2017 World Series, we could have lost them the 2018 World Series depending on the Red Sox situation. Now you have 2020, which is going to be marked by COVID. So now you have three out of the last four World Series potentially being vacated. And they thought that that would be worse than than this outcome. And who knows? It may have been. It's, it's impossible to say that one that didn't happen would be worse than the one that did. Well, interviews are done. Gotta love CNN. Uh, let's talk about baseball and not politics. Great. Sounds good. Let's do the interview. And then and we ended up talking about politics, which I have no interest in talking about. But overall, good interview. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm trying to figure out how to pitch when I don't have a consistent routine. <sighs> How's it going, guys? Oh, there's Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Louie and I have a pen today. It's like I haven't thrown a pen at a baseball field in a year. It's been a long time. Gotta get some good work in. Need to, need to sharpen up my breaking ball command. My breaking ball command has not been too great recently, so big emphasis on that. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Beautiful day here in St. Louis. That was good, that was good. That was a good bullpen, one of the better ones I've thrown in a long time. About an hour till game time. So I'm gonna get some stuff done, get some recovery in, a little BFR bike session, uh, and then come out and watch a baseball game. Hopefully we get another win. Another night, another Reds loss. It sucks. Day game tomorrow, so go home, eat, do some recovery, pack up, try to get some sleep. And do it all again. It's still early in the season, you can look at it that way, or you can say it's getting late in the season. We got like 30 games left. We need something, because we don't got it right now, that's for sure. That's how it works. Jeez, apparently I have the hiccups. Um, 